All right, everybody, Baron here, and welcome back to Home Wars. So today, I've been seeing those comments. I've been seeing those requests to see the mightiest tank in all of existence, the War Machine. We are going to add some of the biggest units that have our did force in battle. So we got a big gun, and you know what? Let's get some. Let's get some soldiers here. So, people have been asking, I think, to see some Starship Troopers campaign. If you do want to see that, let me know. We are going to add a bunch of bazookas. Got to have a few sappers. We're going to have an observer. And then let's just do, like, some grenadiers. Some grenadier skates. And you know what the enemies we're going to be fighting? We're going to be fighting one Titanus Giganteus, which is the largest bug in all of history. Well, I don't know. What is what is actually the biggest bug? And then we don't want we don't want like we just want to focus on some big guys. Not really like a lot of things, but just just some big units. We'll, we'll, we'll throw on actually we'll throw on some of the smaller scorpions. Let's start this one off. Let's actually change the room. I think central hallway is usually a pretty good one. There's not a lot of clutter in the middle. Oh, you know what we forgot? All right, guys. So here we go. We've got a nice uh you know, we could definitely make do some pretty good work. There's been a lot of updates that have been done to the sapper units. But this is what this team is all about. Look at this. We've got a war machine. We've also got like a Goliath looking tank. And then we've got we've got our trucks. But then we also have the big gun. Now I'm curious how this thing does. And if we're just gonna like wipe the floor. If we do, we just gotta, you know, create another custom battle. Yeah. Alright, so now we've got our infantry. All of these guys are specifically designed to be able to deal with big units. Not big eunuchs, big units, guys. Big units. Alright, so we've got these built-fed machine guns. Then we're going to put our grenadier skis in. Then we're going to have some bazooka guys. We'll put them over here as well. Alright, now are we ready to go? We are. So let's go ahead and start the battle. We're going to pause this. We're just going to get... We're gonna get you, and we're gonna create glue for... Oh, it'd be cool if you could drag it. So I think that now the AI should automatically, like, go and do all of this. The pathfinding is a lot better for them. I I'm pretty pleased with the updates that have been happening. All right, so now we'll get this next guy. We're gonna do barbed wire. I feel like barbed wire is always pretty good to have... It, it helps slow. We've got actually we've got a lot of big bugs out there, and I like how the scroll wheel. You just hold Alt and scroll wheel, and you can easily rotate this. Very very nice. It's fun to see like, you know how things have progressed since the beginning days. And then I like hedgehogs. These things are pretty good at slowing down big bugs. So we're gonna put those right on the edge of the glue. So they'll kind of have this pause. And I know that barbed wire and glue does damage, so your sappers can actually do the most damage. We've seen this in some of our campaign battles before. Sappers have come in pretty clutch. Sappers and trucks are definitely the first two units you want to unlock in a campaign because of their versatility. So now what I want to see is if I... Will these guys automatically do it? That's kind of the question. So while that's happening, we're going to move our big boys into position. Let's see. He's going... If he goes down the line of the barbed wire... And this guy's going down the line, of, and this guy should go down the line of the hedgehogs. Then I don't even have to manage them anymore, which is just so beautiful. Remember, remember what it was like at the beginning. Oh my gosh, man! Talk about, talk about the, this is this is what you'd call the good old days. Now, what are these? These are 50 caliber machine guns, I believe. And these are the gren grenadiers. We're gonna split up the bazookas. Oh, I'm in, I'm in that weird spot where you can't. Really, oh, that is not what I meant to do. I accidentally pressed Q instead of rotate. Because I was thinking I was rotating. But, you know, I wasn't. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I forgot. Oh, yeah. Let's pull him back. Pull this guy up to the front. We've got a truck to support them. You guys get up here. You guys get up here as well. And I feel like the soldiers should be in the front. All right, so let's see. This guy's done his duty. We could do dragon's teeth. Oh wow, I did not want to do that. I just want to hold alt. We're going to have a little bit of dragon's teeth here. I mean, might as well, right? We'll have them covering this side that's not as armed. Okay. Now I just got to call my soldiers back. They're both over here. We'll pull them over here. 
All right, so now now let's situate this a little bit better. We still have some pathfinding issues. Hold on. We have oh wow, they spawned right there. Oh oh hello. We need to pull this truck in a position. We've got to reallocate most of our units. No 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 no. I'm gonna send them through here. Otherwise they'll actually go slower. Oh my god, there's a tarantula trying to get... He's caught up on the hedgehogs right now. So we've got the little beetles. I haven't seen the Titanius Giganteus quite yet. But look at this. So this is what I wanted to show you. Look at this thing. So he's got a main cannon, which is 320 millimeters. He's got two triples, which are 150 millimeters. And then he's got a uh, double, which I believe... Is that in the back? There's Where's that double cannon? Oh, the double cannon's actually in the front. And it is 2105, so this is what it's all about, baby. Alright, so, oh, we, we're, this is the double right now. Rotate. Goosh. Goosh. Give him a salvo, baby. And then this is the side triple. Oh, it's actually got four shots. Alright, now let's use the main gun. Where is, there's a Titanius Giganteus. Now, why, is, why am I unable to fire this? Wow. All right, so let's see the reload. He took one to the face. I think we just need to increase. He's stuck on the hedgehogs. But I tell you what, man. This is most definitely the coolest tank I've seen in the game. Like, look at how many freaking guns it has. Now, so this is the auto-resolve feature. Basically, let's see the statistics. I must not have given them enough bugs. We're gonna have to try this one again. Hopefully, I don't have to reset up like all my units. I think that is the case. It would be nice if it was automatic. We didn't put enough stuff in. And look, this this big artillery unit. Check this out. Where's he at? Oh my god. Just it's just. Ah, there's just there's just no hope for them. So we've got two Titanius Giganteuses left. But I think for the most part we're pretty good. Look and just look at this in 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 full speed. I actually want to rotate this and see if all of them start firing see we've got three this one's not firing and he won't rotate he just kind of hangs out in the AI pathfinding he is the last guy left and this guy should be able to hit him no issue look at this a little behind him there we go so who did the most damage only 3,000 damage for the big gun the war machine however did 25,000 and the sappers actually did zero damage. The mechs did 16,000. So the most damage done was the war machine. It lives up to its name. I don't think... I mean, the next closest is the mechs with 16,000. And then nobody else broke 5,000 damage. I mean, that's kind of ridiculous. The big gun wasn't even needed. So what I think we should do is we're going to do another custom battle. But we're going to have a few war machines. Let's go... Let's go with a big open room. Not a narrow hallway, not a box room. The living room has all the couches. Yeah, it almost seems like the best room is usually the central hallway. But for some reason, it's putting me here. If I could be here, I think that would be pretty cool. All right, so we're not going to use mechs because they did pretty good. We're going to have three war machines to hold the line. Now, obviously, we need to remember our trucks. And then I'm going to give them some um, light tanks as backup. And then just regular riflemen. And then to fight these bugs, I mean, we're gonna we're gonna give them one Titanius. Then we're gonna give them one of these things, and then one of the big scorpions, one of the spiders, and then a few of the uh, little guys. You know, you gotta have you gotta have a little bit of distraction, right? Oop, that that is not what we wanted to do. That would be that. that I think that I don't even know if we could overcome the adversity on the battlefield there. Let's see what else, what else, what else. How about one of those? And um, do we have enough? We've got 24 riflemen. How about oh, we do need sappers. That's definitely a key thing. And then instead of those, let's I, I do like the grenadiers. And then a few bazookas. They were pretty good. In case things got in close. And eh, two mortars. Why not? Why not? Let's start the battle. Dude, that A10 Warthog. So in the last episode, we showed off. The uh, AC-130 gunship, which has to be one of the best units in the game, man. It really, really is. But now we're, we're going over this giant big tank. The war machine. The war machine is the biggest 
Machine of War. <laughs> Alright, where do we want this guy? Coming in from over here. Alright, now we gotta get our infantry. Did I really only get three supply trucks? Wow. We've got plenty of battle points, as you can see. Alright, and then our infantry. These will be the grenades. Mortars are gonna be kinda in the back. These will be the bazookas. And then the, this will be the rifleman line. And then we just gotta place the trucks. Oh yeah, and we do have backup tanks, don't we? Let's put them over here. Put this guy back there. Then we got the backup tanks in reserve. I'm not sure if we're gonna need them, but you never really know. Alright, so we're gonna start this battle. We are going to pause it, and then this is where we set up. Now, in the past, I, I, you know what, let's go with Dragon's Teeth. They came from over here. I actually want to rotate my camera a little bit. And then rotate this. Start curving it in. Dude, this is how you do it, man. A nice curve, because if there's corners, then technically it's a weak spot. In terms of coverage. Alright, curve it in. Curve it in, boys. But yeah, so what kind of custom battles would you like to see... In this game, now we're gonna do Dragon's Teeth with the next guy. And I'm gonna skip, I'm gonna forego barbed wire this time around. And just see, no, we, we already did that. Alright, now we got these Dragon's Teeth, which should help slow down big bugs as well. And then these defense should, defenses should look pretty formidable. You can see that they're smaller than Dragon's Teeth. So you have to produce more of them to cover the same amount of surface area. And I'm wondering if they're more expensive. Let's see, the head, they, these are dragon's teeth. Oh, they're not switching, interestingly enough. It's the same information on the right side. This still, still says the Czech Hedgehog. Now, when did the Czech invent these? Was it, I'm pretty sure it was like uh, before World War II, right? Or was it World War I? We're just gonna have a little bit of glue. It's gonna look nice and sweet. Actually, we're going to leave spots for tanks over there. Alright, let's do this. And then kind of double up on these corners there. And so you can see that that's where the big war machines are going to go. We're going to right click. We're going to close out of that. And we are going to start this up. Now we're going to get the war machines in place. I want two of them up here if possible. So that means I want a truck kind of at that point. And then we're going to put all these riflemen. Now can I shift? Oh, wow. Shift? I'm like, okay, we, we still got a minute. We've got plenty of time to set up, honestly. These bugs. Oh, look at this. Can we run over this glue? Look at it. We are backing up. Oh, my God. I, I dislike that. This tank should not be moved by an infantryman. I feel like we got to work on the collision physics. Because certain vehicles should take precedence, like a giant freaking tank. Stop bumping me, you jerk. I'm another big tank, man. We gotta move in a position, man. Being called into battle. Dude, these guys are just gonna wreck house. Alright, and then you've gotta... They're not like... It's... I don't know. Movement and kinda... You know, there's still a few kinks. But all said and done, it's still a decent game. And they do update it regularly. Or they were for a while. When we were covering it, like, what, every day, every other day? When this game was hot fire? Alright, and he is in position. Alright, and this is going to be the final battle, guys. This is going to be the final battle. The bugs are fighting the war machines. We're going to pull up our reserves over here. What are these, mortars? Truck, get in position. Who are these guys? Maybe my grenade launchers. Alright, here come the bugs! Now, I want to get... Oh my god, these... Ooh, the doubles have a, uh, quite a few shells. Now, interestingly enough, they don't just beeline for us. They look at a, a bug meme. Alright, triple cannons. Dude, you can't, you can't stop this kind of firepower. Main gun activated. Why isn't it firing? I, I was clicking it like eight times. And I keep getting bumped by something. Stop moving. 
Oh, maybe it's my own cannons that, that get me to move. Okay, it's not. It's something else. What is hitting me? What is hitting me? Oh my god, that, that spider just walked straight in. Protect the left side. Good lord. Good lord. We're being overrun. I wasn't expecting this. Oh my god, those things can hop? There it is. That's the view. Look at that. These epic tanks. It's a good thing we did buy this. Man, we might get overrun because they're shooting. Oh no. We don't have our artillery anymore, do we? Alright, these are the bazookas, right? Bazookas, focus. Oh my god. Dude, this is this is what you call really bad. Hold the lines, boys. Hold the lines. This truck is getting attacked, man. Oh my god. Look at, can they make it through that line? Here we go. Yeah, they just gotta physically move them out of the way. Look at this. Oh god, oh god, oh god. We're gonna, we're gonna lose our war machine. Protect the war machines! Protect the war machines or everything is lost. Wow, they're damn- they are getting really, really freaking damaged here. We need the AC-130 gunship. The big bugs haven't even come in yet. Oh my god, we've lost the war machine. This is what happens when we don't have artillery support or mechs. Those mechs were pretty crucial. We also upped the number of enemy bugs. Ooh, win the battle, though. There's 31 bugs, and it's- the AI is just estimating that even though- I thought we were gonna get wrecked. We just lost what? Uh, a few infantry, maybe? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I just gotta protect these things, and then we're good to go, honestly. Here we go, this this little... Look at this, how come we don't have the uh, gun depression? And this is like... Oh god, it's kinda silly. Alright. Eat that, Scorpio! What you got, dude? Shells to the face! Titano! Can we drive through these? Oh, we can! Well, look at that! Hello, jerk face! Look at that! Look at that! <laughs> we're, we're just charging. Oh my god, look how many look how many bullets and just shells. Okay, look, can we? I forgot the button to see his health. Oh, he's dead. And then there's just this one guy left. And his health is at look at it, it's just dropping. And it's over. We have won the wait! There's one guy left. We have won the day! Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Baron. Thank you for watching another episode of Home Wars, where we have seen the best tanks in action. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Let me know what custom battles, or if we should do the Starship Troopers campaign. Now, the Starship Troopers campaign was suggested in the previous video, and it's basically where we only use infantry and very, very, very limited air support. Kind of just like the uh, Starship Troopers movie. I haven't read the book, but I have watched the movie. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.